All right, Josh, we're looking at your shot, breaking it down, seeing what you're doing right, what you're doing wrong. I did it in slow motion just so we can really dissect it. As you see, you slide your hand down, which is correct. Okay, now do you see all that motion right there you have in your, your arms? There's a lot of wind-up motion. When we slow this down, there's a ton of wind-up motion. Watch. See, look at all this motion you have in your wrists and your hands. Right there, that elbow, back in that elbow, we really got to clean that up. You should not have that. That's where the air is coming big time in your shot. Okay, look right here, that back elbow, boom, right there is where I'm looking. Okay, we need to get rid of that. It should be straight back and straight forward. A lot of it's, remember, I talked about the catcher mitt. Okay, you're going right back to the catcher's mitt with your stick, and then you're taking the shot. Okay, coming back at you. Look at your feet, pla your, your placement of your feet. Okay, again, you see where your stick just kind of wobbled up in the air? That's that motion of that elbow. We've got to keep that straight. Watch your stick blade. Okay, that was better right there, but then you open up your wrist again. Okay, you open up that wrist. You got to keep those wrists locked especially when you're making contact with the puck. Look where you're hitting the puck on your stick blade. Okay, the wind up. Now when it's coming down, watch where you hit that puck with the stick blade right towards the toe of your stick blade. That's got to come back. Okay, we want that way back next time. Or not way back, you want it towards the heel of the, the stick blade there. <clears throat> right in the sweet spot of your curve is, is where we're looking to hit. Okay, you're continuing to hit that puck on the toe and you lose a lot of control that way. A little different angle we're going to look at okay, your shot from this. Okay, not a bad wind up. Nice follow through. Okay, good knee bend there too. You're, you're as you see, you're bending your knee a little bit better now. See that you got a good shot there because you hit the puck towards the the curve of your blade more versus the toe. Let's look at your stick. Okay, right there you see that stick, how you really dip that, that lower arm on your stick and the, the stick behind you just disappears. You want to lock that bottom arm tight. Lock that bottom arm nice and tight on that stick is the key here, okay? This is going to be a different angle, but yet a good angle. So let's focus on your arms and, and your actual backswing on your shot here. See right there where you bend that elbow? That's where you're getting in a lot of trouble, okay? And you want to keep your hands and arms away on the follow through, okay? Those should be away from your body and not real tight there, okay? Look at this elbow. Okay, that looked much better, okay? That one looked a lot better. Stick comes back, okay? Right there is where you want to end your wind up. Okay, nice follow through there, but now let's get that top hand. Try to get your top hand away from your body. Your hand cuffing it, and I think you're losing a lot of power in your shot when you do that. This view will tell a lot, okay? We, we should be able to see a ton here on this view.
Notice where your head is. Okay, your head was down on the puck the whole entire time. You got to locate that that puck, and you want to be able to look at your target so you know where you're shooting, so you can see the net. Okay, you can't be looking at that puck all the time. That's where also you get into trouble and shoot pucks into shin pads. You want to learn how to shoot by looking. Okay, looking at your target. This should tell a lot too with this view, okay, coming straight at you. Again, right away the head goes down, you need to know where that puck is. I don't care if it's a wrist shot, snap shot, slap shot, you've got to have good puck awareness, know where it's at, and be looking at your target. Okay, again, look at all that action in your arms, okay, there's a lot of un necessary action which is creating too much motion in your shot okay you see that motion there where you're dropping that shoulder you got to make sure you're following through keeping your hands and arms away from your body good good position with your hands though, okay you're getting lots of good flexion on your stick Okay, pretty good there. Nice follow through. That one looked the best out of all of them. 